Willkommen, bienvenue, welcome. My name is Carola and I'm currently visiting my parents in my hometown. So I wanted to take the opportunity to showing you my hometown, which is called Hildesheim. We're now standing in front of my elementary school and I went there for the first four years of my school life. The school doesn't actually look like it looked when I was there. So everything you see in blue is newly built. So we only had the main building and then they added a few classrooms because the classes just got bigger and bigger. And let's see how close we can get. You can see the entrance door over there and right this is part of the playing ground where I like to play most. It has changed a bit. <laughs> Let's see. And then everything behind that ladder was forbidden. So we weren't allowed to climb up the hill because there was another school and they didn't want us to like <laughs> annoy the other children on that, of that other school. And this building was where we did sports. And it doesn't actually look used anymore, so... Oh... Uh, I'm not sure bec it's because of Corona or because they have abandoned the building in total. But yeah, this is where we used to go. I'm currently standing in front of the old apartment where my grandmother used to live. And it's also the house where my father and my uncle used to grow up in. And um, unfortunately, my grandmother isn't with us anymore. So... Yeah, she was on the second floor and um, the people living there right now also have a lot of flowers but I remember that she always had a lot of flowers on her balcony and I went to her place once a week after school so that I had one grandmother day each week and we would do a lot of fun things. It depended on if I had an afternoon activity or if we were just at her place and it was always fun. I have really fond memories of her and yeah, she taught me a lot. The building that you can see behind me is my secondary school. So I went there for nine years from grade five to grade 13. And of course that means I have a lot of positive memories about it and I found a lot of friends during high school time. But it also means that there are a lot of negative memories or situations where I just wish I had reacted a bit better. And um, especially grade eight was really tough. But then, yeah, I also have a lot of friends that I'm still talking to that I met in school. In hindsight, it was very protective. So we didn't have any drug problem and nobody ever got pregnant. And it was a really safe space, but then Inside there were still issues, issues that could have dealt with a bit better. So as soon as we graduated, suddenly everybody who graduated from the same school became like one unit. Even if we hadn't talked before, even if during all the nine years I hadn't talked to a person, now it was like, hey, you're an old classmate, so now I'm talking to you. So if you can see the windows on the bottom, these used to be the classes where we had our art projects. So painting and crafting but I don't really remember doing anything where I was really good at that craft that we did. We didn't do any knitting in school and then above that the two lines the, those used to be the classrooms so but at, at one point we had one of the classrooms on the first floor and so we were able to throw things out and then they landed here and this is where the big break was. So this part was the oldest part of the school and in, uh, yeah, that's the entrance to go see the director or the the secretaries or everybody working for the school. So that would be their entrance, the teacher entrance, and then we had the large entrance over there. So and after school, we went through this tunnel. When we got out on the other side, the yellow building that you see there was the library. It's not anymore, so they moved it to a more 
central location. I really loved going there almost every day and I also met the other classmates who were bookish so you would usually meet 15 minutes later without even planning it. So this is the Kesslerstraße which is also where my elementary school is and one of my memories is I had one of my best student jobs here. There is a company which is like over there, we're not going too close to identify it. And I was supposed to work there for 20 hours a week. But then in the end, it was so much fun and they called me in all the time. So looking at my pay slip, it was more like 60 hours a week. And at that time, I didn't have any mandatory classes at the university. So I spent most of my semester working for them and really realized how much fun it is to work in event management. I had actually planned to go into event management right after finishing university, but then things changed, other opportunities came, and so I never did that, but it was so much fun and I really enjoyed that and really learned a lot about myself. I hope you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And hope to see you from Paris afterwards. Bye!